Gentlelady from Tennessee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to recognize that our members on the other side of the aisle are sharing some data on the coverage of per congressional district based on a study that was conducted by the Center for American Progress, which is a left-leaning organization to begin with. But the Center for American Progress employs a flawed methodology for estimating this coverage. In fact, their foundational numbers are actually based on CBO's coverage estimates, estimates that the CBO itself has established are not infallible. Um, these coverage numbers only take into account plans to consider comprehensive major medical policies. This is a term that is used in the very law that we are trying to dismantle today. Uh, these coverage uh, estimates do not account for things that we have in our bill, such as H HSA plans um, that allow purchase with tax credits or many medical plans. So the uh, ACCA increases freedom for Americans to purchase the kind of coverage that works for them, not the narrowly defined coverage that we see that the federal government likes. And with that, um, it is my honor to yield um, a minute and a half to the gentleman from California, a member of our um, committee, Mr. McClintock. Gentleman's recognized.